Hey folks, welcome back to the Off-Grid Workshop. This week in the workshop we've got this Tag Axle Hymer, which is a beast of a motorhome, and we have put a huge system into it. So I'm going to take you through what we've done. This, I think, I think is the most battery capacity that we've put into a motorhome. It's a substantial system. The couple that own this are living in it full time, so they need a big system to be able to sustain that even through winter and things like that. Uh, but let's have a look and dive into it. All right, so not just one Fogstar 608 amp hour battery, but two Fogstar 608 amp hour batteries. So we've got two of them in here. Obviously the MultiPlus 2, 3 kVA. We've got the Orion XS on this side, and of course the Serbo GX over here. On that side, we've got four MPVTs, so different size solar panels on the roof going into different MPVTs, and of course, our usual external solar panel option with an MPVT there as well. So a substantial system. Of course, we've also gone in and put in the fridge solar dump option that we offer. So that allows us to use the second AC output of the MultiPlus 2 to power the fridge when there's surplus energy. So this one we've got set to come on when the batteries are 95% and to turn off when they're 70. So there's a bit of a window there range where if there is excess solar, then can run the fridge for a good while. And obviously with this amount of battery capacity, uh, it should be pretty good for that. So yeah, substantial system, a lot of battery storage. So obviously one of the things that folks may mention in the comments on the videos that the solar array doesn't really match the battery capacity and this is known a lot of the time in motorhomes, it's actually not possible to really match your solar array with a big battery bank just because of the amount of roof space that you have. So your options are basically, do you have a smaller battery bank so that it kind of more matches your solar array? Or do you just put it in knowing that your solar array wouldn't be able to recharge your batteries in a day if you flattened your batteries completely? But if that was the case, you'd have to get to a campsite or something to be able to top them back up to 100% because you've got a lot of power that you've got to put into here. So, yeah, pretty pleased with how the system turned out. So up here we have the Serbo GX. Obviously, we're in the workshop, so this is not going to show much. But the four MPPTs there and, of course, the alternator, the DC-DC charger from the engine and the shunt as well so got the starter voltage as well on the van we're busy testing the acr2 currently so we're off oops we're off electric hookup but we're still pulling 230 watts from the batteries via the inverter on the acr port number two and of course the fridge is on hookup so yeah it's working pretty good so these two solar panels on the side were here already We've added one, two, three, four, 100 watt solar panels all in an array together, and then a 90 watt over there on the side, pretty much making use of all of the available space. It's a busy roof with lots going on, obviously, with the air con, lots of roof vents and skylights and roof lights and all that sort of stuff. But we've got maxed out as much solar as we could fit on here, really. In here, we put in a little hatch that the customer can get electric cables through here, extensions or whatever, and also his solar for the external solar panel to plug into the Anderson over there. So there we go, folks. A big system for a big van. Pretty pleased with how that went in. It's a lot of battery power. Hope you enjoyed watching that. If you have any questions or if you have a similar van and you want to talk to us and get some ideas or anything like that, then give us a shout. We'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.